Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio Solo Edition in the Pittsburgh, Han Pennsylvania Solo. area. Whoa, whoa, whoa what? Han. what? Han Solo Edition. The Han Solo Edition. Mad Mike from his Han Solo location in... Wait, is that work too? Boy, I thought Ross smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, we are here. By the way, literally everything I say about wrestling is going to be a Star Wars pun. Tonight. You know what? That's perfect. That's actually perfect for tonight. Okay. That's yeah. that's that's wonderful. Um, of course, it is May the fourth. It is Star Wars Day. It is. I mean, I really did not have time to Star Wars much, other than posting some old Star Wars wrestling clips for IndieWrestling.us. <laughs> so, but C C three PO and R two are joining me here, uh, as 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 you would. Uh, so in my lightsaber uh, and my lightsaber needs new batteries. Yes, and I, I'm Red Five standing by. Red Five standing by, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. but this is the show where we kind of sort of talk about wrestling. It, it's really just kind of me and Mike getting a, a touch and base for 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 the week since we haven't talked since last Tuesday. Um, yeah, you know, shit shit gets crazy in Corona times. How is I, I'm sad that like how does. Okay, I know they're not live. They're live. I, okay, whatever the situation is with Raw, I'm not even sure anymore. I, yeah, like I do you. I feel like there's missed opportunities when your Raw is on Monday, May the fourth. Like mm -hmm. I, I guess they would have to pay for something like that, right? Oh, you get a spot. You get a sponsorship with uh, Star Wars Disney. Right. I don't know. Shayna Baszler has dressed as Darth Vader before, and I feel like that should have happened. Wait, really? Wait, wait was this one of those Halloween uh, battle royal kind of things? Yeah, yeah. yeah like, th there's there's a clip online. Shayna Baszler dressed as Darth Baszler. Darth Baszler. Darth Baszler. Yeah, she raises her hand in the air and force chokes everyone in the battle royal, and lifts them all up for a choke slam, oh, and they all do. Mike, we got a run in. We got a late run in. <laughs> with a steel Ooh, chair. With a steel with chair. Are you? He's got the wild face from uh, WWE No Mercy. Matt Carlin's is with us tonight. What's up, boys? Hey, welcome to the show. Yep. Welcome to the party, pal. I was just sorting my sorting sorting, sorting my Legos and thinking of Mad Mike. Oh, so, you're like, hey, how about a show's happening now? Yeah. <laughs> long holiday. Welcome to the party, pal. It's Christmas. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> this is Star Wars Day, so... Matt Carlins, did you celebrate Star Wars Day in a special way today? Yes, I will tell you how I uh, celebrate it today. Um, first of all, um, one of my children asked to watch um, The Rise of Skywalker on the okay. Disney Plus, mm -hmm. and we fired that up, and you got about an hour and a 15 in, and they were about like, uh, I think we're done with this. And I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll catch the rest later. And then, um, that's wow. about where I checked out too. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and then, uh, later on this evening, as, um, I was looking for something to watch, I was like, hey, look, The Last Jedi. I'll watch that instead of Raw tonight. So I just flipped that on. And then, <laughs> at, uh, and then it ended at 10 o'clock. And I was like, well, what else can I watch until, uh, until 11 o'clock and uh looked around i was like oh here's an old football game i'll watch this old football game so i i literally watched the the, the final 45 minutes of the last jedi and then a uh, apparently a seahawks packers game from 2013 or something like that and that's how i spent my night because wrestling without fans ain't working sorgi no 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 the, it's it's almost like the wrestling world is frozen in carbonite it is, and like, like we know it's we know it's eventually gonna be okay, but as of right now, we have no idea what's going on internally, and we have no idea when someone's gonna sneak in to break it. Anytime, anything that I think should be perceived as interesting happens on Monday Night Raw, I think, whoa, that's cool. Then it's like, I wish there were fans to react to this right now. Like when AJ Styles was the surprise in, at the end of the gauntlet tonight. Um, was he a surprise, though? 
What I zombie style. Z- yeah, zombie style. So, so if he came out as a zombie, that would be a surprise. Yes, yes. That would be welcome. Or or at the very least, the very least, like he during the match, he brushes boneyard dirt out of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> he like he like he like stops and like takes one of his boots off and he shakes it out and like, yeah, like just, man, man. just a just a just a big cough with dust flying out, right? Yes, what? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he got thrown in a hole and he's been quarantined for two weeks and now he's good. Mm-hmm. I mean, they've had. I mean, how many weeks has it been since WrestleMania? They've had all this oh, time. Matt, Matt, the, oh. the vignette of AJ crawling yeah, out of the dirt a year and a half ago. So yeah. They could have thrown that whole vignette. How did AJ pull himself out of the boneyard? You know, perfect opportunity to write off Anderson and Gallows. I mean, he could have been like, looked to the side and seen like, just like two legs sticking up and been like, well, <laughs> dead dog. he walks off, you know? <laughs> just could have made it all work. AJ Styles, buried alive, comes back onto Raw. Gallows and Anderson, Never seen or heard from again. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm-hmm. Not buried alive. There were there were there were true there were true um uh, uh casualties uh career wise of that match. Apparently, I saw, I saw a tweet. I think it was from Brandon Stroud, and he'd be like, "I'd be okay if AJ Styles was now comically murdered at every pay per view." <laughs> <laughs> which, which honestly, sure, yeah. sign me up. Like every every cinematic match, AJ Styles is in it, and just. He's Kenny. So, yeah. he's, so from South Park. Wasn't he the one tonight threatening to throw Rey Mysterio off of the building tonight? Yep. Yeah, at, at Money in the Bank. Uh, then Rey Mysterio mm-hmm. also says, I could be thrown off of a building at Money in the Bank. Yep. Like we are at the point where we are we are pushing this match, wrestling match, a wrestling mm-hmm. match. And we're talking about legitimately being thrown off a how what is it, a five story building there? Yeah, the it's Oregon. Almost like WCW of monster trucks in 1996. Somebody's getting Kobo hauled off the top of that uh, building there, Sorgi. Wait, Kobo hauled? Yeah, Wait. that's a that's a verb in the. Uh, yeah, well, who got thrown um, off a of Kobo hall? Uh, that that would be the giant. Yeah. Oh, was WCW? that? Oh, that yeah, was that. that was was okay. Person. I thought but we were talking about that form because someone's getting though... ace windowed, thrown yeah. through a fucking window. That's right. Having their hands chopped off with a laser sword, I assume by Asuka, and thrown through a fucking window to their death with force lightning. I also assume by Asuka. <laughs> <laughs> all this tracks. All this definitely tracks. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, Mike, is there anything else uh, of significance from Raw tonight that you can make a Star Wars reference to to fill in Matt, uh, Matt on what he missed? Oh God! Um, I, I I drifted past the screen just long enough to uh, be the uh, be the unwitting victim. My eyeballs were the unwitting victims of a Seth Rollins sit down promo as I walked through the room, and I was like, uh. "Oh yeah!" Like like full disclosure, uh. full disclosure for about an hour and a half of Raw tonight. I was doing a, a live uh, Star Wars trivia night. <laughs> you, you you picked your battles. Yeah. Um once I saw the first hour was a gauntlet match that I knew eventually it was going to be the winner of someone not announced. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because that's how they do. They announce all these people and they're like, guess what? None of these fuckers are gonna win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um because that's called a swerve for swerve's sake. Uh and swerve wasn't even in it. <laughs> right? But yeah, but um I was I, I feel I feel like I chose my I I chose wisely. Wrong 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 th- you budgeted like, your time wisely and this is like this is a serious thing here. Sorgi, we are the three of us and you know the assembled masses watching, we're the hardest of the hardcores. We are like like if, if they can't get us until even like Pretend that we care, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and yeah, like Mike, like we're we're the ones frozen in carbonite right now. We're, we're just waiting to get like out. Job, and, you know, it's time to get back to some uh, real stuff. You know? T- T- Tina is saying that she she decided to watch uh, binge uh, marvelous Miss Ma- Ma- Mrs. Mabel, blah, blah, blah. marvelous the Mrs. Marvel. 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 Marvel, Miss Marvel, yes, uh, Miss Marvel, Mazel, yes, yes, damn it, 
<laughs> There's the show I want. There's the crossover. Um, I have um, pol- unapologetically just gone back to working Monday nights um, during Raw. And it's just, it, and, and it's wrestling related. It's I'm catching up on, on all the media. Here's a couple uh, small edits I wanted to put out for, for indie wrestling and everything. Um, and that's just where we're at. That's just where we're at. Setting up events, yeah. booking booking our guests for tomorrow night, which is facade, by the way. Um, you know, they, they, that's what that's what Monday night is again. I, I, I haven't have, watched NXT in weeks. I haven't watched NXT in two weeks. I kind of still want to. Uh, SmackDown, I have relegated to simply, and tonight, I, I didn't even do it until tonight. I just watched the YouTube clips going mm-hmm. into. And, and even, even looking at the Firefly Funhouse Braun, clip that they had in there it's just like oh that but even see, even that bank. didn't come off well but money in the bank it's not the fiend versus Braun. it isn't no it's sweater vest bray <sighs> which i mean okay i get it for the miz he beat i understand that i understand that 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 to me tracks okay that's fine because Bray was trying to like inf- infiltrate Mrs. Children and be the talk show, be the game, the, the children's show host. I get that. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But if you're Bray Wyatt and you're going for the Universal Championship, wouldn't you want to? This is, see, this is the same problem we have with Finn Balor. Mm-hmm. Why isn't he the demon all the time? Why isn't he the fiend all the time? And that doesn't get explained, does it? No, it doesn't. It never does. That's the biggest thing. You're like, well, this is what's I, happening. It's like, oh. I mean, Gray, I kind of trust to maybe give some kind of rationale. And I mean, let's face it. The real reason is Braun needs to win. Mm-hmm. That's the real reason. The real reason is Braun needs to win. Mm-hmm. Like, he needs to hold the title for a little bit longer because basically Braun is holding it until Roman can come back. Let's not mince words about this. Mm-hmm. Like. Even if Bray or the Fiend or whoever takes the Universal title from Braun, they're only holding it until it's safe for Roman to work again. Yeah, yeah. And right now, we don't know when that's going to be. Yeah, like, let's be really real about it. That's the only thing, because Roman was supposed to win at WrestleMania, and then was probably supposed to go into a feud of Bray. Mm -hmm. Braun Strowman was not a factor in this at all. No. But, no, yeah. Yeah. Tina, Tina said she's yeah. going to skip Money in the Bank this year because it's on Mother's Day. That's a good call. I, I well, I have to figure out. I have to. Well, I'm going to try to visit my mother responsibly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, I'm concerned. Be careful, Sorg. I know. I'm still. I'm still figuring this out. Um, but no. I, I and we. I did. I did. Oh, put you the know, other... you do meet her on the roof of Titan Tower. Oh, okay. Okay, that sounds good. There's I... at least there's at least six feet you can keep distant. And you know, still have a nice Mother's Day. <laughs> uh huh. I want that to be the final, that like like the Schwarzenegger line before someone gets thrown off the roof of Titan Towers. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, let, me, let me rephrase. Happy Mother's Day. Yeet. That's the thing. <laughs> I think that would only work if Beth Phoenix was in the match. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, um, there needs to be a wrestling themed because I. I'll, Somewhere along the line, I found out in Florida, certain counties are because there's like a it, you know there was a thing about signs about how people are relating this idea of how far six feet is, um, mm-hmm. and in a county in, in in Florida, it was like stay one alligator away from another person. Yeah, the length of an alligator away. So, mm-hmm. what is our wrestling equivalent of this? Is it is it like who's who's a six foot tall wrestler that we can say stay a uh, I don't know. Stay, stay a Triple H away from. Uh, stay a Mick Foley away. Oh, you can't, you can't trust wrestler heights. Mm. That's like unless they're seven feet tall, and even then, you really can't trust that. Yeah. Like I would say, stay a large ladder in WLC away from someone. A large ladder in WLC. Yeah, because it's a small ladder in other ladder matches. Okay. Okay. That, yep. Okay. All right. Right. I'm yeah. like, I got a I got a six foot ladder. I mean, that seems like a regular size ladder, like a normal size ladder, right? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, there's got like. I'm trying to think of someone who's exactly six foot, and most of the people I'm thinking of are under. Hold on. I'm going to ask Google. Six foot tall pro wrestlers in WWE. <laughs> I didn't think of a wrestler that was labeled as too short back in the day. That's Christian. probably a six footer. Christian, probably. Christian, yeah. Christian's a good one. Like Christian, I, but I'm Actually, pretty sure I'm, I'm Christian's north of six foot. No, I'm pretty sure I've stood next to Christian and been taller than him. Oh, what? Really? Okay. I'm pretty sure. Well, you know, he's all legs, so. Um, <laughs> he is, isn't he? And that's so slight. No, 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 I got this. I have, all legs, I have a so. list of six-foot wrestlers, thanks to, uh, according to tpww.net. Sounds very official. So uh, you could stay. It would be a great game. You can say, listen, 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 properly social distance and remain a Div David Atunga away from each other. Mm. Mm. Or yeah. you, or you could say, you could say, um, stay at Christopher Daniels away from each other. Okay. Okay. Stay a Chris Jericho away from each other. Okay. Mm. I, I'm surprised by Daniels. I would have guessed Daniels is shorter. Maybe, maybe, See, maybe. That's the thing. You can't trust wrestler heights because I think he's shorter too. Maybe, yeah. maybe keep a Brooklyn brawler between you. Oh wow. Okay. See, I mean, that's the other way too. I mean, brawler. I would have guessed maybe he's a little bit north of six foot. So. Maybe you could be separated by a new jack. Uh, no, no, we should not be separated by a new jack. No, someone's gonna get shanked. You're right. That, that's also called being in prison. That's right. Uh, you can you can keep a uh, X Pac away from you. Mm, I don't know if he qualifies anymore because he's always carrying his dog around, so he's probably a little bit north now. That's that's right. A little bit of uh, extra baggage there. Uh, you can say a stay. You can stay a Rusev away from each other. Wow. Yep. So, so you're telling me X Pac and Rusev could stare each other dead in the eye. Yes. Face to face. Wow. Yes. Yes, but just not that dog. Yeah, not that dog. Um, you can say a Meng away from each other. Oh, how long are the tag ropes? How long are, are the, the tag ropes? Yeah, are the tag ropes six feet? Oh, I need somebody. No. <laughs> I don't think they are. Oh, uh, how long are tag ropes on a wrestling ring? They are more than like a foot. 18 right? inches. Okay, that doesn't work. Nope, nope. Damn. What about the length of the announce table? Maybe the announcer's table is six feet long. That looks like a six-footer, yeah. yeah. I like this. I like this. We did some graphics we need to work up then. Mm, so. Yeah. Matt, have you been doing anything else this last week to to curb your wrestling appetites? Is it, uh, other than, is Mason yeah. Mania still going on? Mason Mania is still going strong. I don't know if you wanted me to get into this. Um, I've I don't know if I. I think last time we talked, um, I did let everybody know that Oscar uh, is one of his few women wrestler action figures, mm -hmm. and I successfully like I I'm like the guy backstage just like constantly going to bat for the one wrestler push this person push this person so every time like let's push oscar let's have oscar go you know wire to wire in this battle royal mason so he's finally catching on and it's like oscar lux and like flying hip attacks non-stop whenever he's fighting um also we have successfully broken up the shield and there was recently a three-way match um for the divas championship seth rollins coming in as your champion taking on Moxley, and the newly heel-turned Roman Reigns. Now, to signify the heel turn, Mason removed Roman's Kevlar vest. So now it is, is evil, bare-chested Roman Reigns running wild. And, of course, that adds, like, you know, plus 50 hit point to all his attacks. So so I, I, have a I have a question, Matt. Yes, um, please. No, I, I don't want to insult Mason's booking. No, please. Um, did did you have a hand in that, or or is that something he came up with all on his own? Breaking up the shield? No, 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 no. Removing the vest on Roman. That was all Mason. See, Mason is a better booker than WWE's been in the past five years. <laughs> Telling you, he's good. Oh, that, that's not even a joke because, like, that's one thing that would actually change Roman Reigns because he's still like, he's cosplaying as his debut self. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like. Um, Considering how many fucking times Rollins has changed, and now Moxley was a pirate for like two and a half weeks, like oh yeah, like 
oh god that needs to happen with Roman. I got, I got a couple more things I want to throw out there that he's done lately. Yeah. Um, he had he wanted to have a ladder match, and uh, he didn't have an obvious um, MacGuffin, if you will, to put on top of the ladder. So um, collectively, we came up with, how about the winner gets a vacation? He gets to go on a cruise <laughs> for a month. To okay. lovely Stanford. <laughs> exactly. So literally, it was a vacation ladder match. You, you get the contract. You get to go on vacation. So we had this big um, ladder match, and um, Brock Lesnar wins the vacation. Okay, and now I don't know. If I told you guys. Hey, hold on, hold on. He is the guy who's for- always on vacation. Yeah, one yeah vacation. Was- I mean, Mason. Mason will Did reinterpret he- and just regurgitate, shuffle, and export just what he's seeing on TV. So in his <laughs> mind, that's probably influenced by that. But he has got this big, like, a meat pat, meat plant stable of Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, and Keith Lee all together. So the, the gimmick became that all three of them went on a cruise together, okay? <laughs> They're gone for, like, a month. And he's doing other... And, 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 and he's having, like, vignettes off to the side where, like... Brock and Keith Lee and Braun Strowman were like, we're on the boat. Yay. Let's go to the, you know, let, let's go eat. Yay. We're on the boat. Because he, he doesn't know anything about being on a cruise, but he's just like, wee. Did, <laughs> did, did he recently oh. watch the the cruise episode of the Big Show show on Netflix? No. No? no. Okay. So he doesn't even have that. No, he doesn't even have that. Wow. Those came out of thin air. And, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. So they were gone for like a month. And then um, as he does, Mason... Um, will have a battle royal or royal rumble on almost every show he puts on. This is like a weekly occurrence. That's his thing. Um, so he has a, we hey, have a royal get rumble. Let's get, 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 get everybody on the card. So we have a royal rumble, and that number 30 entrant comes on. And, you know, number 30 entrant, fresh off the boat, Brock Lesnar comes in. <laughs> and we the royal rumble. So like, he's fresh, he's, off the boat. Him, he's oh, fresh okay. and rested. He's been eating all that good food. You can't stop Brock Lesnar coming off a month long cruise. Fresh with a floral so print shirt. Yeah. And, and shorts. And the hot coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We still have, um, he still has John Cena dressed in like a flower in one of like Bray White's flower tea flower shirt sitting at the announce table. He's Lance Catamaran. He does not have a John <laughs> Cena action figure. He has a damn Lance Catamaran action figure. I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, this is already like I'm having more fun with this, obviously, than what we've been dealing with lately. <laughs> so. Oh jeez, it, it is funny. Like it, it's like I was telling you guys last week. I, I can't stop. Like every every time he gets ready to do like some insane, like jumping off a ledge, mm. you know, not with these action figures, I'm like grabbing my phone. You know, just like I'm watching a real <laughs> event. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Matt, if you if you want to get like real fun with it, try and shoot creative promo pics. Because mm. <laughs> honestly, that's what I used to do, like in <clears throat> high school. But I. Yeah. I used to like set up massive promo pics and everything. Like I have a bunch of them at my mom's house. I should start uploading them on the Facebook group just to see what people think of them. Because some of them were real wild. So I mean, we've were... all got all this time on our hands now. I mean, I was cleaning out my basement this week. Uh, over the past week, I uncovered like a big stash of what I felt was a big stash of WWF DVDs. Turns out they were not. Because then you quickly, Mad Mike, <laughs> tweeted me, replied with your picture of your shelf. Full of deep wrestling DVDs, but you know, I, I I like to go quality over quantity. I guess that's my style. But um, I mean, I, I only showed you to the, acquire a few more. I, I didn't show you the Blu-rays. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wait, do, I, do I have to go take a picture of my shelf now? Yeah, but store, you know, need no. half of those. That's different. no, 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 oh no, no, no. I only have. I don't. Yeah, we do not have just like stacks of DVDs we've made on the shelf. We would if you if I made and put on a shelf every DVD they, they we've made since 2012. Holy crap! Yeah, it would fill the office. We're talking at least two promotions with about 12 shows a year, plus then add other promotions and other stuff <laughs> over the years. Man, that would be a I, I guess we could just print them out and put them on the shelf in a case kind of thing. Like, that'd be a nice display kind of situation, maybe. Like, like the Batcave. Yeah, like, what? Like the Batcave. What? Yeah. Yeah. That. Trophies. That's true. That's true. That'd be nice. That would be nice. But, I don't know. Maybe one day. That'd be a project in itself, just to print out in case all those for 
I don't even know how many. If I took the number, I mean, just look at the productions when Missy did the crunch the numbers for productions we did last year, which I'm really sad because I started counting the shows I was attending this year, and then life happened. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you should just make something up and just be like, if you stacked every DVD that Sorgatron Media has produced over the last, you know, 10 years, you'd be able to go back and forth to the moon three times. Like, just make something up. <laughs> like those emails Google Latitude sends me. It's like, yeah. you've, you've driven to the moon like three times this year in your travel. Yeah, like, <laughs> my Fitbit told me I've traveled more miles than the Great Wall of China. I'm like, dope. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, geez, I don't know. Anything else you guys want to touch on? Any anything else come over the weekend? It was even a slow weekend for wrestling stuff. Everybody's getting Mike, tired. Mike, Mike, did you build any Legos this week? I did not. I actually cleaned my room. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you can't really tell because this part is the same. But like I organized all the clothes in there. I did get a new Lego set that I will be starting fairly soon. Oh, mm. that. that boys yeah that's that's, that's the pretty boys. sweet um, yeah I, I mean it, it's only a 500 piece or so it ain't well, gonna take me long but it's safer the journey um, yeah yeah that's that's my plan what one of the first ones my son got was the um was the ecto one with the girls because he's a big fan of the ghostbusters 2016 he loves that movie hmm, a little okay. bit too much um but yeah he has the uh the ecto one he's built that a few times pretty cool Nice. Uh, the Chachi has been on the Lego bandwagon. I've noticed. Mm. Yep, he's and stealing my gimmick yet again. Well, I well, so he's. I know he did the um the stormtrooper helmet, um, mm-hmm. and he also started a show. Have you seen this? I I I was going to watch it after we finished this podcast. Okay, okay. Put a pickle on it. Is his new show? I think <laughs> he's filmed at least three episodes. I believe. And uh, mm-hmm. the first one is out. He will just take food items and put a pickle on pickle on it. I believe the first one is Cool Ranch Doritos. Now I have a question. Mm. And again, I ha- I haven't watched the program yet. Um, is this a specific kind of pip- pickle? Like, are we are we talking sour, uh, half no. sour, bread and butter, dill? Like, what what's going I, on? I think it's a standard dill pickle. Okay, all right, good. Because I was gonna say like. Because if he's going bread and butter, I don't need to vomit while watching YouTube. I think after the first wave of uh, comments, he's already purchased a backdrop for the next wave of shows. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wow. Did he, did he get renewed for a second season yet? Sounds um, like this is it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going through our network. He's This is completely a Chachi Enterprises production. That's awesome. So Support your independent internet clutterer. <laughs> what's that your independent internet clutterer yes um, I, I, feel like, I feel like we should all start a show where we put one food item onto another food item well i feel I, so it, it, just make it a collective so so the the food item like, shows like, uh, Pot, potter's got a food item a well, food tasting show and now now chachi does and it's like, is this the new trend here? Um, at least they're not starting a sourdough like everybody else on the internet. Not yet. No. Now he needs to make a TikTok version, which is just like clips of the show, super cut clips of the show that's like five seconds long with like Nicki Minaj under it, and it'll go super viral. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, and he needs to have Nicki Minaj or like get Cardi B as a coronavirus! Yes! <laughs> Yes. Yes. Um, and, and that is what we call viral marketing. Wasn't me. I like to rebuild a little bit every once in a while with the Legos, you know. So I'm into this mock. The kids call it the mock. So I was just fooling around. I made a tiny Lego salad bar tonight. <laughs> um, That's lovely. Wait, it just kind of came together. I found a mock. Yeah, it, well, they call it a mock. If you're not following instructions and you're just building your own thing, mm-hmm. uh, you're building a mock. I don't. I can't remember what it stands for off the top of my head. Uh, but these are the crazy people um, that I was 
went down the YouTube rabbit hole watching all their videos, and I still am. They're, they're really will, interesting. One thing I have been doing with my Legos is um, I've gotten bored during the day. So, um, see this little guy? <laughs> hey, Mickey. Yeah, exactly. Um, so Disney is known for their hidden Mickeys all around the parks, mm-hmm. all stuff like that. Okay. So I've been taking various pictures of my little domicile here and hiding either a Mickey Mouse or this. And I've been sending it out on Snapchat to everyone daily and it, it it's it's been fun because i also like i still have hagrid's hut here but i wanted to hide the mickey behind the night bus so you had to like look through the windows to see it but i'm like i need to make this a little more crowded so i made it the uh most awkward day to tour hagrid's hut because it's the day buckbeak is getting executed mm. yeah terrible day for that tour bus to come in and I got a uh, um, crypto riding on the spider buggy with it appears to be uh, let's see that is Clara Oswald from Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the people in attendance, Zod is there to watch the execution because you know he he knows what it's like to have your neck snapped. Um, <laughs> I, I, hey hey Mike, you 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 would know this too. Have they ever made? Lego Power Rangers. Uh no. Because that's another Mason is is it must be the, the eighth week of the uh lockdown. He's going hard back into the Power Rangers right now. He's wow. been hitting the Netflix really hard lately. Um they there is a knockoff Lego company that has made Power Rangers. Mm. I wanna say constructs. Mm. Um but hold on quick we have the internet. I'll just I know that it existed. Well, I, I, you know, Mike, you know, once you bring those off-brand Legos into your oh, life, yeah, no, they, they, they will, they will forever yeah. will it dominate your destiny and, and pollute yeah. your your collection. You, they yeah, just no, keep popping I mean, up. Amazing. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Like it looks like you can buy custom Lego Power Rangers. Mm. I'm not sure if you want if that's a route you want to go down. And it looks I don't like think it's someone, necessary. It's more it looks about. like someone um, on the Lego Ideas board, which I highly recommend you browse through every now and then. Mm-hmm. The Lego Ideas board is how we get stuff like uh, my friend set, my Flintstone set, and stuff like that. It's people who make their own customs mm-hmm. and submit them to Lego for ideas. And if they get approved and if they get the license, Lego actually makes them. So, uh, Matt, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a link up here in the uh, in the old Google chat room here. Okay, I'll check that okay. out. And it's a um, I can say he was kind of repurposing some guys, you know, as long as he had the colors. It, it's it's a lot of no, it's it's like legit paint jobs and everything. And they made the command center with a floating head Zordon and an nice. alpha. Fox. It's actually kind of dope. Like, and all the Rangers have removable helmets. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But uh, the Lego, if if you if you guys are bored, the Lego Ideas community, whoo, they're uh, it's fascinating. And a lot a lot of stuff has been made from the Lego Ideas. Nice. Well, Jance has been fun. Sword wrestling. We should probably wrap up for. The Lego podcast of the week. <laughs> uh, man. No problem. When you give us a when you give us an hour in a gauntlet match, I just want to say execute or sixty six and just take out everyone. Ugh. Mad Mike four eight three on the Twitter. Two uh, B dot TV. Look up Lucha Underground. If not, watch some Star Wars. Yeah, watch it. Watch it all. You know what? And so here's my Star Wars order. Here's my Star Wars order because it's a very controversial one. I stand by it because you know why I know things are always going to get better. Go one through nine. Mm -hmm. Go one through nine. You can pepper in your rogue ones if you want. You can pepper in your solos if you choose. You know, that's fine. But if you're going strictly episodes, don't go by that four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight. Don't go by that bullshit. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Just go by that. Hmm. Put it in the order it wasn't intended. <laughs> because it only gets better. Um, mostly. It mo- mostly better. If anything, the effects improve. Oh. And yet, I realize the time doesn't make it sound like it would do that. But the effects definitely improve if you go one through nine. It's a good thing I went to you first because apparently Matt Carlin's dropped off. Matt Carlin's, how you doing? Yep. I went scrambling back. Apparently my internet decided to take the night, rest of the oh. night off. Mainstream Matt. Mainstream Matt on the Twitters and of course listen to your parents' podcast on the Sorgatronmedia.com network. That's right. Check us out. Live stream Thursday night starting around oh. 9 o'clock and we will see you then. Talking all things parents. Got a lot of good topics to run through. Mm-hmm. So it's be a lot of fun. Last week we made drinks. So yes, you did. We'll more. There's some um, how to's uh, videos uh, of that and how to play Jackbox on Zoom uh, yeah. that you can check out over on the Facebook page and the Instagram, I believe. Um, yeah. We, of course, like I said, we're going to have a lot, actually, a lot of wrestling related stuff happening this week. Um, the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we will have the first Edwin's Lesson segment. Uh, he will be giving us a homework assignment that we'll be talking about in the, the coming weeks. And uh, so, so stay tuned for that. Facade will be joining us just to hang out. Um, and of course we will have, um, not wrestling mayhem show, but, uh, we are going to be helping facilitate the, uh, fight underground fight council, uh, meetings that will be, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time on the fight underground Facebook page. And we will also be doing the indie mayhem show quarantine panel. Uh, still scheduled. Let us know who do you think we, we should have on that? Maybe we haven't, uh, any, you know, former, uh, friends of the show, no, it, they're not former friends, but friends of the show that have been on. Uh, we'll be doing that, of course. We'll be doing that over there um, um, Thursday at 7 p.m. on the Indie Wrestling US uh, Facebook page. Uh, Friday we will have an Indie Wrestling uh, game night with Rocket League returning, and I know a few people will be jumping on that. I believe Brohim and Jordan Styles will be a part of that, as well as Pick Leader himself, Chachi. Is that how I introduce him now? Uh, and uh sunday we will be doing a watch along for money in the bank because i miss you guys uh so let's get together uh on the on the on the google meet and uh stream that to facebook so you guys can watch along with us and hang out in the chat room or uh, a, a few of you guys will get, get begin the, the usual crew will be getting an invite to hop in as well so with that thank you everybody it has been fun we'll see you guys next time Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.